Stop. What's going on? Hey. Uh, hey. Hey. We got EMS coming, man. I'm not a criminal. No, I will not. If we can find your phone. It's right there in that Gucci purse. You just had it. Okay, you're just looking at it. Your friend is unconscious. I don't think your phone's your concern. Relax for a minute. When criminals realize they've been caught in the act, have you ever met a criminal who thought they were stupid? Most of them believe they're untouchable criminal masterminds until they get caught. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, you ain't gonna taste, drop it. Get in the car, get in the car. I'm trying. He was a victim of his ex girlfriend's evil plan until his true colors came out. No one is dying over here, you pussy. Come on. A mother approaches a group of children in a park armed with a baseball bat and has a plan to get away with it. That's my daughter, like no one's gonna touch her. So they get in her face and yeah, I'm gonna do something about it. But first, you'll see what happens when a man thinks he's the world's best long border and the police will never catch him. This is Missing Files. Tries fleeing on skateboard. We begin on May 11, 2021 in Bonneville, Kentucky, where officers were called to investigate a domestic disturbance in a residential area. When officers arrived at home and knocked on the door, the suspect jumped on his longboard and took off into the night. Five, six foot pursuit eastbound. It's going towards homes. Stop now! Stop now! Stop now! Stop! Even the threat of being mauled by a police dog wasn't enough to make the man comply with the officer's order to stop. And any chance for this to be a peaceful encounter went out the window. He's refusing to stop still. He said he's going back. I'm going to release my dog! Stop now! We're fourth in Emerson. He's still claiming he's going to stop. He's not. We're now southbound Emerson. No! Stop now! Stop now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Listen to me. Put your hands behind your back now. I didn't even do nothing. No. Oh. Hands behind your back. I am. The suspect claims he injured his hip during the arrest. That could have been avoided had he not fled the scene in the first place. Guys. My gosh, stop. dude. I asked you to stop and you wouldn't stop. Yeah, but I'm not f***ing you up. We're not f***ing up either. Oh. We're red. Listen to me. Please. You knock that s*** now. I want to know what's Act going like on. You adult. I... Oh. Sit in the car. Oh. Sit in the car. You just bounced my head off the car. I guy. did not. There's nothing there to bounce your head off of. Oh. Listen to me, dude. You are. Are you kidding me? You're gonna blow. The officers have no sympathy for him, but they are required to call EMS if he says he's hurt. It appears his biggest problem might be intoxication. You're going to play this game after you ran from us? This is a really, really mature move. Here, I can fix that. Yep, you're fine. Stop moving. Stop moving. We're taking care of it, bud. We got EMS coming, man. Stop. Huh? Do you know him? Do you know history? No, I have no history. Hey, if you're taking any drugs, man, any illegal substances. Hey, Devante, just take a step back to that tree. You can, you can look all you want, man. Take the step back, please. What's going on? What's going Stop. On? Stop. What's going on? Hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Listen. By this point, it's clear that the man is under the influence. It's just not clear of what. Uh, I don't know if that's it. It's a cap. He's got a whole bunch falling out of his pockets all over. They're not needle caps. Look at them. They're wiring caps, dude. You guys are f***ing <laughs> incinerate. 
consider it. Yeah, you're consider right. It is a wiring it. cap. It's weird for you to have wiring caps in your pocket. Why? But I do f***ing wiring. Were you doing wiring tonight? Today I was. I, I ripped it out. It was right. It was in his. Just that one. Are you? Yeah. Okay. The other one I missed. I think missed him or. Telling an officer to calm down, thinking you can take control of the situation, it rarely works. Will you calm down? No, you're not gonna tell me to calm down. Okay, please. Look, I'll get in the car if you please. Let, I, get I will get in, get in now. the car. Get in now. I, get in the car. Get in the car. I'm trying. Get in the car. That was hard, wasn't it? Get your foot in. Yeah, I hope you like your. Get your foot in. I will have it. Good for you. you I hope you do. You disrespect the pin. Close, get your foot. You, well, you didn't give me time. I've given you five minutes. Get your foot in. Huh? Are you an adult? Did you get picked on as a kid, you f***ing f***? The officer asked bystanders to respect the victim's anonymity, and they gladly complied. Hey man, can I ask you a favor real quick? Yes, sir. So I don't, I don't care if you guys are here, yes, sir. but I have a, a victim of a domestic crime right here, so I don't want her face on video and stuff like that. So you guys are good to sit here, but if you're in a video, please don't do it towards the residents. I don't want her, her she's gone through enough tonight. I don't no, want We're leaving because you use respect, so I respect you in return. Okay, thanks, Avante, man. Have a good night, man. The suspect has already taken up far too much time of the officer's time, and he finally gets a chance to talk to the victim. But there's one more problem to deal with before he can. <laughs> okay, rotate your shoulders. There you go. You hey, knock it off now. No, dude, because I didn't do shit. Hello. Brave enough. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can I look at where they were fighting at? See if I can see what happened. Were they downstairs fighting? Uh, yeah, it's out of I was in bed almost to sleep. Can I go down to where they're living and see if there's any blood or anything down there? No blood. Can I go look just to, just to document the scene? Can I go document the scene for the investigation? Is that fine? Yes, I do. Hey. Hey. The dog's right there. Pimp got just got out. Okay, well, I, I need to go down and just look at the scene and document it. Is that fine? No. Why not? Because the basement is a mess. Okay. Well, my other option is it's a crime scene, so I just pull everybody out and go get a search warrant, and that doesn't seem necessary. We're trying to help her. I don't care. I don't care about how messy it is. I just want to document the scene because the defense attorney is going to say, "Well, did you even go in there to look at where it happened at?" And I have to be able to say, "I went in and documented." What's that? Okay. The basement looks like a crime scene without knowing any specific details. That's good. This is set up because I wanted to see what it is. Okay, where did all this happen? Right here. Just right here. Right here. Yes, Grandma. I will bring it up. It's right here. Okay. But the baby doesn't sleep down here. So. Oops. Does anybody, s who sleeps down here? Finally, the officers get the truth about what happened and the man is taken to jail for booking. No, I asked how. Like, what did he do to you? He was throwing me around. Do you have any marks on your body aside from the redness on your neck? This is nasty. I don't it's not good for here. anybody well, to be down here. It's being a process of being picked up, but I only came down to isolate for the day because I don't know what I have. And until I can get a ride to the hospital, I was not going to risk my life. I'm going to take some photos of you, okay? So can you look at me? Come on out, man. Zachary Farley was charged with attempted strangulation, domestic battery, and resisting arrest. Rhonda, our fifth case takes us to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where on August 5, 2023, an officer responded to a report of a woman causing a disturbance at a bar and grill. She was allegedly harassing other customers and had a history of doing so. Everyone knew her as Rhonda, including the officer. From the moment the officer arrived, Rhonda was rambling, and it seemed to be under the influence of something. She claims she's just waiting for a ride. Officer Kimmel with the Eau Claire Police Department. Oh, I'm Rhonda, right? Yeah. Rhonda, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. These people stole from my family, man. Got the name in the house. I'm waiting on a cab, so what? Okay. Don't act like you're trying to help me, sir. Nope. Okay. I come so, from Family of War, thank you for looking out for me, but you should go investigate these people in here. Okay, so what's yeah. what's going on today? Well, I know Mr. Food, they okay. gave me 
Get chocolate milk, big deal. Okay, so you're just waiting for a cab, then you're yes. you're gonna be leaving. Okay, yeah. gotcha. You're yeah, but you should go investigate these people in here. The uh, the bartender story is much different than Rhonda's. Had one drink, went outside, came back in, ordered another drink, and she just started acting really, really crazy and started yelling at people and getting in their faces. I asked her to leave, and she went leave. Rhonda maintains that the bar staff calls the police on her randomly and that she never does anything wrong. My ass off. I came down here to have a drink, and she gave me nothing, and they, were, and they just called people. They called people to follow me wherever I go, investigate that. Randomly, they call the cops, and nobody calls and checks in on a scanner or a police scanner, <laughs> and I'm doing good. I'm writing a story. Sometimes you have to do the part, and that's... I asked her to call me nicely, a cab, and everybody started getting involved, and I didn't appreciate that, okay? Okay. That's fair enough. The officer tries to help the staff in Rhonda's visits by banning her from the premises. Ban from the property or trespass from the property? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Just ban from the property. Yeah. Okay. The officers soon learn that Rhonda has open cases, and as part of her release, she's required to abstain from any and all drugs and alcohol. So Don how, Adams. So how much have you had to drink today? Nothing. They really? gave me chocolate milk. That's what I was pissed off about. Just chalk them out, huh? I'm right. Okay, would you submit to a PBT? I'm not a criminal. No, I will not. <laughs> I didn't do nothing so, wrong. So they were saying that she had not called the cab. I don't have anything. No I'm not a criminal. Her, had yeah, nothing alcoholic here. Then we can't go with that. So I say, we've lost. Right. How long is your cab till she gets here? Can I just confirm? I don't know. Maybe you should she check with that lady. She said she had two lady. drinks inside. Just confirm if they were I had to ask, see, the thing mm -hmm. is, is I asked the lady okay. to call me a cab and everybody. The officers finally call Rhonda out for lying about not drinking, and she's placed under arrest. But she decides that she can place them under arrest too. Can't have alcohol. I'm not a criminal. Okay, Rhonda, we're Let's done doing this. No, on. get away from me. Rhonda, Other Rhonda, Rhonda don't, don't make this no, hit harder than don't, it has to be. Don't, Stop. Don't, Stop. Why are you doing this to me? Stand up. Stand up. No. Where Stop. Up? Help. Help. Stop it. Leave me alone. I didn't do nothing wrong. Help. Help. Stop. Oh. stop resisting. Oh. Oh. No, you Hey, stop it. Get off me. Get off me, man. Get off my dog, me. Help. Citizens arrest. Citizens arrest. Citizens arrest. I'm she claims she has no criminal record and doesn't believe the officers are real police. Preston, I don't have no criminal charges. I explained to you. I am you no have, You have conditions of absolute sobriety. No. And you had multiple drinks. I don't have no sobriety. I didn't do nothing wrong. Can I have my cigarette? No, we're kind of past that point. Listen, I have no criminal record. There's a real police officer. Hey, tell him to let me go. Okay, Rhonda, are you going to stand up and go to the No, I had a cab coming. We yeah. don't even know There's who no, you are. No, you guys no. are people. Guess what? You're on TV. Do you know you're on camera everywhere? Yeah. After being strapped to a board and placed in the helmet for her own protection, they secure her in a police cruiser. They already me. They already tried to me. They already tried Help! 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 You're not police officers! Look at you! Who the f are you, you piece of s? You laughing? You think that's fine? Gotta right? leave that off here. Get my s. Sorry, bonk today. <laughs> she screams for help on her way to the station and after she arrives, but her fantasies don't help her. Help! 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 I work with people in memory care. 56-year-old Rhonda was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and bail jumping. Kanaya A. Williams and Jariah Terrell Officers in Vernon Hills, Illinois responded to a report of a theft in progress at an Ulta Beauty retail outlet on March 6, 2023. The suspects tried to escape in a 2018 Kia Optima, but that didn't work out too well. The women didn't even try to be discreet. They just walked in and started filling bags with merchandise. After leading police on a high-speed chase, the driver, 24-year-old Jariah Terrell, crashed the car and officers closed in. Give me the shield. Give me the shield. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you're you're right. 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 We're gonna have to go on the passenger right. side. We gotta go through the passenger side. Driver, shut up! <laughs> the car. Coming out. Stop! Get, get your foot off the brake. Yes. Hey. You. Turn about. Get over here now. Get to me. Get to me right now. I will. Don't please don't shoot me. We're not going to shoot you. I don't trust you. Get over here. Well, I don't trust you not to run me over. So get the out of the car. I'm going to shoot you. No, please don't. I'm not going. Don't be safe. Please don't be scared of doing this. Why are you scraping my car? Get out of the car. I just want to get out of the car. 
The damage they caused to the other vehicle was extensive, and they're lucky no one was killed in the crash. You get my out that car, sir? I won't a moment. Sir. Sir, before you... Okay, it's just a lot going on. We're just going to a car, all right? That's why I don't want I don't need you over there. Jariah is more concerned about her phone than anything else. Reality will soon set in. If we can find your phone. It's right there in that Gucci purse. You just had it in your head. You just looking at your it. Your friend is unconscious. I don't think your phone's your concern. Relax for a minute. No, my phone is my concern because I had to call my family. And that's not my friend. They came to get me okay. and she going to tell me come stealing with them people. Bitch, I don't want to do nothing to that. Okay, I copied the first 20. Mr. There's James. Seven days. Oh, no, okay, have a seat. Can you please grab my phone and my Google Gucci purse? We will, we will, we will, we will try and it's do right our best. It's right there. I just see you pick it up. EMTs soon arrive to examine one of the women who appears to be seriously injured. It's just a phone and money. Huh? It's just a phone and money. Other passengers. I got tased. They're all gonna have to get. Yeah. I didn't get tased. No. Okay, sure. I didn't get tased. You weren't driving. No, I wasn't even driving. 25-year-old Tanaya Williams who has refused to identify herself, has repeated over and over that she wasn't driving and says her friend Brittany was behind the wheel of the car. What's your name? Latasia yes. Terrell. What was her first name? Latasia Terrell. I'm 101. I'm 101. Yes. Yeah. Who yeah. was at the scene? Don't you tell friends. She tries to Is she okay? <laughs> Is she okay? No. It doesn't look like she's okay. She wasn't driving. Yes, she was. Brittany was driving. Brittany was driving the car. Can you do me a favor? Okay. Can you yeah. just take a seat for me? I'm trying to make sure she's okay because she was driving the car. No, is that her? Just take a seat. Take a is seat. Is that Brittany right there? Oh, no, that's not her. Where the other girl at? 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 Take a seat. That's who was driving. That's who I'm looking for. I don't know. I got here after. I couldn't see the car. I pulled up. I'm like, where's the car? Where's the other car? Where's the other car? The medical techs take precautions in case Tanaya is suffering from internal injuries and soon transport her to the hospital for a proper examination. I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm, it happens on a daily basis. Can you get my phone, please? All right, we're going to stand you up. We're going to get you on this cot and lay you down, okay? I'm going to switch that. And then we're going to put your cuffs on the front. Can you get my phone, please? Never mind. We're going to get Never you mind. Can you please get my phone? Can you please get my phone? They're still going through everything. I'm sure the hospital will be able to call her. I'm sure the hospital will be able to call her. Okay. When they get it, they'll bring it. Okay. When they get it, they'll bring it. They're, they were going through the car and everything. They'll get it. We're about to go to the hospital. We're good whenever you're good. Before anybody starts opening doors. Oh. After she's cleared, she's taken for booking at the local precinct, and the driver of the car, Jariah, soon joins her. Let me get, let me, let me get a hand for something. Okay. okay. Can go walk over by this wall here. If you're more comfortable sitting down there, like up against the wall and stuff, you're fine to, to stay down on the floor, all right? You want to do that? Is that would be more comfortable for you? You just want to kind of go up a little bit in the corner there so you got something to lean up against? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to slide you back. Yeah. Are you able to slide or I'm going to help you? <laughs> She asks for something to eat, and the officer agrees to order in McDonald's before showing her to a cell. Alright, um, is there anything else we need from her then? I want some food. Y'all don't care for anything. Yeah, they're bringing food. Yeah, they bring McDonald's. So. Alright. McDonald's. Lucky, lucky. Jariah and Tanaya were both charged with retail theft and were held on $350,000 bonds. Cassidy. We move to our third case on August 3rd, 2022, where officers responded to the scene of a fight. A woman was waving around a metal bat near a playground where three young children were hanging out. Police arrived on the scene and immediately confronted the woman. Things went haywire fast. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! You ain't get taste! Drop it! Drop it! Back up! Back up! Back up! Last warning! 
Last warning! After the woman was in cuffs, another officer looked for witnesses to get a better idea of what was going on. I say, let me talk to your mama. Mama comes out and she starts trying to swing. I have everything on video. Okay. And um, I'm not telling her, like, look at yourself, man. Nobody's even talking to your kid. There's two little kids that they actually tried, since I'm recording, they snapped the phone out of, out of me. So they slapped my hands twice. One, uh, the black guy that actually jumped my son and another little boy. And there are those two, they jumped my son. So the black dude hit your boy? No, they, they, they put they their hands on me. Them. They like, they like did this and they started messing with me. They took my chain, my phone, my shoes. But then one of the dudes, they went over there and got my stuff. But I also had a vape. My parents don't know I vape. Sorry, now you guys know. But um, they have my vape now. The officers find more witnesses and learn even more about the situation. What happened is that she got down to protect her daughter. Okay. Okay, and then uh, I guess I get it. You know, that looks kind of messed up, her carrying that thing there. And this guy told her to drop it. She didn't drop it, you know, and then they tased her, but she was trying no. to explain. She dropped it. She I dropped it. The second time I got tased her, after okay. Okay. Well, she dropped it. Do you have video of that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We didn't get the huh? video of the I don't know video her, video but her, but um, she had told but, her the second time But the bottom line, I think those people it. over there, that lady over there in that fight car was messing with her mm -hmm. and her daughter, and they got a whipping out on her. We didn't witness that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. After being secured in the officer's vehicle, the woman tells her side of the story. Mom has COVID, so I came to help her clean the office. I came to drop off my daughter, and I seen someone go up to her, or she was going to where her friends were. I guess they were already in a confrontation, and I stood around a bit to see what the hell, because that's my daughter. Like, no one's going to touch her, because I, I seen that they had, like, a black bar as a weapon, and I'm like, no. So they get in her face and yeah, I'm going to do something about it. Okay. One of the kids on the scene has an interesting story for the police. Yeah, I came up to them and then they got mad because, you know, I'm the, I'm the child. So then they went over there and they had a they had like a weapon in case like they were going to pull out Who did? Uh, my parents. But they didn't, they didn't oh, so, use okay. it. So, your parents, so your parents pull up on you walking up the street? No, right. walking right here. Walking right here, okay. And they're like... What happened? You tell them? No, the, yeah, I came up to them and they're like, what's wrong? I was like, I just got drunk. People just took my stuff. Okay. They got mad. They had a bad in case they wanted to fight. And then... uh. Your, your parents did? Yeah. Okay. So then they were like, okay. So then we went over there and then uh, they started calling They started calling my mom. They started okay. calling my dad, like, what the are you going to do? They were threatening him, like saying, hey, hit me, hit me, this, this, that. Okay. Unfortunately, there were even more children involved and an officer got their side of the story. So he, so, so the guy came over here saying you guys robbed him, yeah. his son. And we were just okay. And, and then like, and my friend was trying his hardest not to hit him. He did already though. But yeah. your friend tried yeah. to hit him? No, he no. tried his hardest not to. He was hit. He hit that trash can over there. You see that? Okay. He hit that because he didn't want to hit him. Yeah. The, the guy, the guy that yeah, was claiming. He seen him. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! And then the girl, the lady, lady. She had this orange thing and uh, uh, oh, you know the bridge is over there. Mm -hmm. She uh, she had her against the gate with that orange thing on her neck, and okay. I think I pushed that lady. Like, I'm being honest. I pushed it because I didn't want nothing to happen to my friend. Okay. A man shows up claiming to be the father of the woman in custody. He reveals her name is Cassidy. I'm the owner of the Jeep. My daughter is the one that got tased. I guess I think. Is that, okay. That's what I heard. Maybe I don't know. Um, if you wanna. Hang out here, and what's, what's your daughter's name? Cassidy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, my granddaughter is supposedly somebody pulled a gun on him. I'm not on him. The officer tries to explain to Cassidy how she should have handled the situation. Not a good look. I, I, I'm a parent as well, too. I completely understand the parent aspect of wanting to protect your children. 100% get that. The problem with the charges, though, is that you're the one that's kind of instigating it. Hey, what are you gonna do? Swing on me! Swing on me! So I because I told her I was like, what are you gonna do? I said, but, hit, hit so, my daughter, so hit look, me. Look at this. That's so, why I called the cops. So re realistically, though, if I go and take this in front of the judge and I try to say, hey, look, you were fearful of her, you arming yourself with a weapon and then continuing to talk shit to her doesn't because she was in my face. Doesn't seem because she was in my face. Of course, I'm gonna protect myself. I, I got you. I'm not gonna be a but, little back up. 
the mother of one of the kids gets on the phone with the officer and requests information about what's going on. All right, you can talk to her. So I've got my son in the name. Hey, pussy. Yes, ma'am. Sir, you are you are uh, you are. Are you gonna pick? Kids. Are you gonna come pick up the you kids, ma'am? You have to have. Uh, you have to give us your badge number and your name. Yeah, that's fine. Are you gonna show up on scene, ma'am? No, I'm not going on scene, sweetie. My husband will be there. I have COVID. Okay, perfect. When your when, when your husband gets I would have been there in a heartbeat. Okay, when your husband gets here, I can give him all the information, the case number. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it because I, the way they're telling me, you guys taste their falsely. Okay. Um, he, he dropped the he dropped the, the, the wrench, and you guys still taste her. Oh my God, I mean, I appreciate everything you guys do. The officers released Cassidy after getting a clear picture of what happened. You want to be taking a cuff over here? Yes, please. Stick her up, right here, stand her up. You got a cuff. I'm going to have you stand up against the vehicle right here. She was issued a criminal citation for resisting arrest. Nick, our second case takes us to Palm City, Florida on May 10, 2023 where officers saw a blue Ford pickup truck speeding down the highway before turning into a driveway. The officer heard a woman yell, and moments later, he was told that the man in the truck wasn't welcome on that property. Officers were told the man driving the truck was named Nick. They call him over to find out what's going on. Hey, Nick. Come here. You're not in trouble, just come here, ma'am. The officer was nice enough to issue Nick a speeding ticket, but this situation is far from over. Right, I'm not going to give you a ticket or anything like that, but just know, like, you're, you're, you're home, dude, okay? You can All imagine right? my situation if you weren't. I, I, I hear you, man, but if you're, like, I understand you're amped up and you're upset, like another dude texts you he, that he wants to fight you, then, like, yeah, then, then tell one of the occupants of the house joins the conversation and provides valuable information to the officer about Nick. Here she comes, what's the problem? There's no problem. What, so why are you saying my name? No, because you're coming out here and she's going to call you for no reason when she's going to get some dude that wants to fight me and start when I, she what? texts me and she okay texts me. Are you okay with me talking to him? Of That's course. Yeah, you, know, you know who I am, right? So she's going to text me Christine and start... Felicity. Me. Like, I'm always yelling, so but she's going to start shit because that's her neighbor. Just take it easy, dude. Why are you coming here? Phone, can I please see my text messages? I don't think you, you would understand if you here. saw my text messages. Please understand. I would not be here. Okay, please so why understand. are you I don't barging call in her house then? Do you, you know I want her? to? When I love her. Lonely? I love her. She messaged mm -hmm. me. Okay. The real reason Nick's there is soon revealed, and things take a nasty turn. Reach out to me. I have not bothered her. I care about so her, dude. I've left her you. alone, Christine. So when she texts you, tell her to stop texting you. She's right there. Nick, you do not reach out to me? Nick, Nick. stop Your boy yelling. told me he's sucking your Yo, dick and he wants to fight hey. me? Ask me, I'm leaving. Nick. I don't want to be here. Nick, dude, if you don't keep it down, you're going to go to jail for disorderly, okay? Okay, I don't want to be here, bro. She started this. You got a job to do. I get it. I respect you. I'm going home. She started this shit, bro. Okay, did you go inside her house at all? No, man? I did not. I went up the stairs. Okay, Once Nick is out of the picture, the woman is able to provide more details about Nick's actual behavior. Guys, when she gets lonely, so I'm not going to sit here and say she didn't start shit with him. Gotcha. But she does have video, and he did go storm in her house. So, you know, you you guys do what you need so to do. He, so he just went in her house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got video. Okay. What was said before that, I don't know. But she just showed me the video. He goes up the stairs, swings the door open, and goes right in. Well, I heard her yell, and then... Okay. Okay. Yeah, so... After getting all the information, the officers are left with no choice but to place Nick under arrest. Dean, I'm really sorry you had to deal with this. Here, Nick, do you have a favor? Go ahead and turn around. I really... Yeah, absolutely, Put your bro. Under arrest. You're just being no, detained. No, no, I, I get it. I get it. Don't, don't, don't pull. Key. Okay. Key. I, 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 got I got it. I got it. All right, take it. Take it. I got nothing on me. Y'all can detain me. That's where we're at right now. Take my key, please. I got you. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it in my, on my thing. I won't forget about it. I promise. Right, okay. Appreciate you. I'm gonna go. I know y'all got a job so to do. You're, man. So you're, I'm you're, sorry. Nick. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained so I can I figure out, figure out what else is going on. Okay. I understand. Yes, sir. 
Nick desperately wants to talk to his ex, but the officers aren't about to allow that. Nick doesn't accept it and has plans. Yeah, but I've talked to her. You can see my, I will get my phone out of my truck. You can t see my phone, her texting me. Did she Early tell this you, morning. Did she say you can come over here? Not right this second. Do you have any proof that said that you can come over, like that she said you can come over or anything no, like I that? No, I talked to her on the phone, dude. Okay. All right. I wouldn't just show up and cause you problems for no reason. All right, and like, All right buddy. Nick, get it. Nick, give me a minute, buddy. It turns out Nick lied about what was in his vape pen, and it's going to cost him. What color are these? Black and red scissors from Home Depot to cut cloth for my work, my job. Okay. Is there that's, a, that's is, a broken CBD pen? This my, is it's it's my mom. It's, it's I don't even smoke that. It's broken. It's, it's not even smokable. It's testing positive for THC. Okay, it's not even smokable. Okay, but there's THC in it. Okay. You can give me a ticket. No, I can take you to jail. You're gonna take me to jail for that? Finally. Nick's rage takes over and he decides violence is the answer. He's not a peaceful guy as he claimed to be. Spray me, buddy. Come on, tough guy. It's a vape pen. Let's go. The dome light. Come on, let's which, go. Which one is that? Y'all want to die over a vape pen? Let's go. Spray me. Spray me, pussy. Come on, over a vape pen. Don't want it. Nick seems like he's losing his mind. He's been ranting about Christina for several minutes while the officers have him on the ground. Ask her about it. Yeah, that's all. That, it's all, It's personal. Stay down, man. She asked me here. It's personal. Okay, you can see my phone. You want to see my phone, Christine? Yeah, she called me this morning. No, don't hog time. Don't pick me up. What the f is going on? Oh, hell yeah. Goddamn. He claims he's completely sober. That might make his behavior even more inexcusable. He'll have plenty of time to think about it at the jail. Nick was charged with burglary, possession of a controlled substance, battery on an officer, criminal mischief, and escape. He was held without bond, 